The Hurricane Center just put out the 11 o'clock advisory just minutes ago, and we are still at 160 miles per hour. And this storm is still moving towards St. Croix and Puerto Rico. The U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, all still in the cone, but so is Puerto Rico. The entire country, the entire territory, absolutely under the control of this Category 4, maybe Category 5 storm. So here's Puerto Rico. 3.5 million Americans live here. And here it comes, right along the shore, making landfall if the center of the cone is correct, because the cone is getting smaller and smaller now, near Palmas del Mar, or Umacao. This is the area that will see the hardest wind damage. Across the area as well, there is a national forest there called El Junge. El Junge is a rainforest that will be, you know, damaged, but certainly it's not going to hit the populated area, let's say, if San Juan was on the southeast coast. San Juan's on the north coast, but San Juan is still going to have wind of 130 to 140 miles per hour. There will be weeks without power. There may be weeks without water. So this area, this territory is certainly very much in danger of a life-threatening storm surge, a storm wind, and of course, flooding with it. 15 inches of rainfall possible across parts of Puerto Rico will make mudslides and really more flash flooding because it is a very well forested area. So this island is so forced that we're not going to see the potential mudslides like we see in Haiti, where the deforestation has taken over so many of the land areas that mud comes down rather than water coming down. There is the storm right now, 160 miles per hour. We still have gusts to around 190. Hurricane hunters are in the plane, are in the, the storm right now in their plane, and they just found a 188 mile per hour oh. wind gust about 700 feet off the ground. So not the surface, but 800 feet, 700 feet. And that's certainly some spots in the Caribbean are well above that. I mean, there are spots in the DR that are, you know, 12,000, 10,000 feet high. So the higher you go in a hurricane, the more the wind is. And there are plenty of spots there that are higher than sea level.